find goods on sale right here. Ambassador, I trust our people had a smooth transition to Aya. The Angara have been gracious. Everything's going well. Good. Keep me updated. Tan out. I've never lied to a director before. Pathfinder, it's a pleasure. I'm Ambassador Riala, Chief Diplomat for the Initiative on Aya. I was removed from Cryo specifically for this. Quite the wake-up call. I know what it's like, jumping out of the cryopod and into the fire. You've had it far worse. My condolences on your loss. I hear you're to thank for our new ties with Aya. This is our best shot at an alliance. Now we just need to keep our people from wrecking it, no matter how hard they try. I'm not going to like this, am I? No more than I do. A Salarian botanist named Sorvis Len is here, learning how to improve our crops. He sent an urgent comm, saying a member of the Angaran resistance had threatened him. What happened? I'm not sure. Sorvis is an excellent scientist, but not the best communicator. I'm concerned this could escalate if someone doesn't look into it, but I don't have the staff to spare. I can go settle things. I'm a friendly face for both sides. That would be helpful. With any luck, we can prevent this from getting worse. That's all for now. I'm here if you need anything. I can't work under these conditions. What does it take to be left alone? He's off. I'm here to help. You reported that someone in the Resistance threatened you. Tell me exactly what happened. I didn't know Riala was sending the Pathfinder. I deserve no less, of course. I was measuring the photonic dispersal from the canopies when some random brute interrupted me. I asked him to move, and he got nasty. Said it was my fault his friend was dead. Ridiculous. That's a weird thing to say. How'd he threaten you? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it was the big gun he was carrying? He got right up in my face and compared me to a cat. He wanted to kill me. I could see it in his eyes. The whole conversation made no sense. I think he was inebriated. I'm not saying you're wrong, but dial it down. We're guests here. Exactly. We shouldn't have to put up with this. When he left, I tagged him with infrared dye from my sample kit. Invisible to the naked eye, but not to a scanner. I'll scan people around the Resistance headquarters, see if I find him. You're supposed to represent our interests, Anaya. Go, represent. I have work to do. Why not? Before I go 
I detect the infrared dye saw this Len used to mock the person who threatened him. That's our man. Ryder. Let's go over this again. Wish I could join in down there. I know why you're here. The botanist. You want an apology for what I said to him. I only have one side of the story. Tell me yours. It's hard to explain. Try me? Aya isn't big enough to give everyone a home. We each live here a short time and then move on. For someone to come, another must go. The exchanges are chosen at random. We call this arrangement the Vassal. Time of change. It worked well. Until now. You lost someone you cared about. Was it because of the Vassal? That's one way to see it. When our leaders agreed to make a place for your people here, it came with a cost. My friend won a place on Aya, but he sold that slot so one of you could stay here instead. Sold it how? What did he get? Comforts for his family, resources to improve their home on Haval. He always put others before himself. That's how he died, fighting Ket on Vold. When I found out I was angry, said things to your botanist I shouldn't have, but I'd never hurt your people. I believe you, and I'm sorry for your loss. Between us, a botanist is kind of a jerk. He didn't fear my anger. I respect that. I'll talk to our ambassador, see if we can minimize our impact on your Vassal. We don't expect things to be easy. Only that you understand, nothing is free for us. in a little luxury. Pathfinder. Any news on what happened to Sorvis Len? Do you know about the Vassal? The Angaran lottery that decides who gets to live on Aya? I've heard of it. Why? Angara are selling their slots to come here so our people can stay in their place. Including a member of the Angaran resistance. He was killed on Vold. Wouldn't have happened if he'd been here. No one told me of this arrangement. Well, we have to do something. We could let Angara who give up their slots live on the Nexus. It's safer than Vold. Exactly what I was thinking. No one should suffer on our behalf. Thank you, Pathfinder. I'll forward your proposal to Director Ten immediately. How are things going? Anything else I can do to help out? Actually, yes. Director Ten gave me a project. He wants more Aya natives to live on the Nexus. He thinks it will deepen our partnership. A few Angara expressed interest, but... None of them will agree to live on the Nexus without speaking to you first. Why me? After what you've accomplished? I didn't want to bother you, but... You asked. I'll point you towards the candidates. If you could convince them to transfer, I'd be grateful. What's our end goal for Aya? A strong alliance is all we can ask for. It's what we're working toward. Helios is the Angara's home. They dictate the terms of this partnership, not us. We need them as allies, and they could benefit from us. But we have to tread lightly. Show them we're not invaders. Historically, when two civilizations meet, one consumes or destroys the other. We need to break that cycle. How many of our people have they let into the city? 
A strictly limited number, and only certain professions. Scientists, engineers, and scholars. The Angara have agreed to allow some of our people to work in Aya's research facilities. That's huge. It's more than I expected. Tan wants me to push for social visits, but I'm holding my ground. We need to move at their pace. They've been extraordinarily gracious, all things considered. I'll take whatever they're willing to give. That's all for now. I'm here if you need anything. You're one of Ambassador Riala's candidates to live on the Nexus. I am. Glad you finally showed up. Let's get down to it. I've lived my whole life wanting to meet aliens who didn't want me dead. But my family's here. How can I stay in touch with them from the Nexus? You can send messages, talk to them on the comm, we'll even arrange a visit. You get it. All right. I'm in. Pathfinder, Ambassador Riala didn't think you'd have time for me. She said you needed to talk before agreeing to live on the Nexus. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. I'm an anthropologist, but I've only ever studied my own people. I've heard the Nexus is home to multiple species and cultures. It would be fascinating and possibly dangerous. Bacteria, viruses, other contaminants. My family worries about me. Are you sure I'll be safe? They wouldn't let me on Aya if I was a walking petri dish, would they? You aren't taking this seriously enough to satisfy my family. I can't go without their blessing. I'm sorry. Ambassador Riala said you're thinking of moving to the Nexus. I find her. I'm honored even to be considered for the transfer, but I won't be happy as just an observer. I want, need to work. I engineer power systems. Will I be allowed employment alongside your people? 